She does look awfully comfy. Ugh, too fucking comfy. Signal's up. Let's get set. I'm just saying it's my fucking parking space. Yeah, well, I didn't see your name on it. Oh, grow up. Was the extra stack from your car just too much? <laughs> Bollocks. You got the nicer dressing room. And you always get the pastries first, but you don't see me bitching about it. Absolute rubbish. Look, I think we both know why you want the closer space. That's yeah? ten seconds. What's this saying? It's a punish up. You're going in five, four, three. Welcome back to The Nightly Show. I'm Megan Wolfe. And, and I'm Julia Salisbury. <laughs> Later on, we're going to be unveiling an incredibly important piece of music. But first, it's time to get comfy here on the Couch of Chat. Couch of chat. Every night, night, we sit down with our guests and put your questions to them. Tonight, our guest is Julia Salisbury. Julia oh, that's Salisbury. me! Yeah, that, was, that was my life. So, uh, if you want to join us here on the Big Couch for Big Chat, then all you have to do is call the usual number and you could be here with us in audio form. <laughs> so, guys, I was on my way to work today, driving along, and a huge song came on the radio. Oh, yeah. Let me be your toaster. Oh, oh, I popped up just to say I love you. Exactly. So I'm singing along, having the time of my life. The song ends and the DJ goes, gosh, a real golden oldie there. Oh. And at that moment, I just wanted to burst into flames. Oh, but your ancient bones were just too dry. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, guys, this is serious, honestly. I think I'm too old for the music charts. Ooh. So tonight we're talking about what are you too old for? <laughs> First on the line we have Simon Dempsey from Dallington. Hi Julia, Simon here. Hi Simon. What are you getting too old for, Simon? Bullshit. Sorry? Bullshit, bullshitting. Oh, that is what you said. Okay, well, you couldn't be more obvious. Thanks, Simon. Bye. Yep. I was right there, isn't he? I find this all the time. It's getting harder and harder to play these games. I, I just want to shout, shut up, to the cabinet ministers constantly. <laughs> oh, well, I think we can all relate to that. <laughs> but does anyone else find themselves on dates wishing you could skip all the small talk and just get to the point? Oh, don't call it that on my show. <laughs> no, no, you know what I mean. Uh, well, next up, we have... Paula from Stockford, what are you just too old for? Wetting the bed. Oh, yes, I should think you probably are. Yeah, far too old. Well, I'm not quite there yet, but sometimes I'm up 14 times a night. It's coming, love. Well, that's something to look forward to. <laughs> Thanks for your call, Paula. I think I'd stop drinking liquids after midday. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we should have Desmond on the line. Desmond, are you there? Hi. I want to know when we'll get our elections back. Oh, oh, sorry. Can we just cut him off? Um, next no, no, caller no, on the Megan, line it's is perfectly uh, fine. It's a, it's a perfectly legitimate question. Um, am I right in saying, Desmond, that you disagree with some of our policies? Absolutely right. Yes. Completely understandable. But are we not safer? Crime is down, and we're healthier than ever. That might be true. Well, it is true. We're. Uh, we're better educated, less likely to be in poverty, happier. Yes, uh, true, but, but we should be able to choose our own government. Oh, I, I agree with you completely. But the system can't be trusted. We still see that around the world, the elites living in the pockets of corporations, pushing their ideologies of division, hatred and greed. And we see the uninformed millions return them to power against their best interests again and again, seduced by the lie that they can be a winner of a game that they'll always lose. Right. Well, thank you. Perhaps there will be a time where you no longer need us, but sadly, it's not now. <laughs> thank you, Desmond. Wow. <laughs> uh, tomorrow on the show, we're thrilled to announce we'll have another new pet. Oh. <laughs> we'll be asking you to send in your ideas for names, so get your thinking caps on. <laughs> but before we go tonight, it's time for an important announcement. Julia? <laughs> Thanks, Megan. Well, as you can't have failed to notice, last year we asked you to send in your entries for the National Anthem Writing Competition. Well, our judge... That's acclaimed film school composer Jonathan Williamson, of course. Yes, Jonathan has been beavering away for the last six months listening to every single one of them. And I am pleased to announce that tonight we have a winner! Yes, entries have flooded in from across the territories. And the standard this year has been incredibly high. 
some of you went for slightly off-center ideas. <laughs> so before we announce the winner, we thought you'd like to hear a few that didn't quite make the top spot, but which stood out in the judges' opinions nonetheless. Exactly like this entry from six-year-old Jenny Daisy Chain. Julia is the best. You don't care what she is, but I care what she is. Julia is best. Julia is the best. <laughs> Bless her. So cute. Is that it? <laughs> I mean, I could have done better. Frankly, it was too short, isn't it? Clearly. So, <laughs> well, maybe you should have entered, eh, oh, Patrick? Well, I think you did, didn't you, Patrick? More than once. Oh, 48 times, actually. So. Crikey, you put in 48 entries. <laughs> well, I didn't win, did I? I didn't even get shortlisted for these extracts. <laughs> so. Well, there were, there were a surprisingly large amount of entries, so try not to take it too personally. <laughs> oh, I'm not taking it personally. I'm absolutely <laughs> fine with it. Next up, <laughs> next up is this runner up from Mariah Oversing, who lives right here in the capital. Yikes! What a powerful voice! Yeah. Mm, that's a little bit indulgent, isn't it? Really? <laughs> Someone needs to lend her a consonant. <laughs> yes, Jonathan enjoyed the performance but felt it might not work in a choral context. Mm, and it wasn't just soloists who entered, <laughs> some of you banded together. <laughs> I see what you did there. Thank you. <laughs> Including this entry from the Arsminster Old Town Brass Band, which they called Parps for the People in B flat minor. Mm. Now. Wow. Jonathan thought it was catchy but lacking in meaning. That be all of my ones. I mean, it didn't even have any words, really, did it? So. <laughs> and finally, a special mention to a band called Throbbing Death Stick of Satan for this impassioned entry. <laughs> Jonathan was impressed with the passion and musical need to be of the piece. Sorry, is this some sort of joke? So Sorry. don't keep us in suspense any longer. Let's find out who won. <laughs> well, <laughs> after six arduous months of shortlisting, Jonathan surprised us all by picking his own entry. Oh, of course he did. Right. Which is entitled simply Anthem. <laughs> and joining us to sing it tonight is acclaimed classical singer Helen Judge. <laughs> Helen Judge. <laughs> Hi, Helen. Welcome to the Nightly Show. It's an enormous pleasure to be here, Robin. And you are a walking, talking example of how life begins at 30, I believe. It would appear so. <laughs> because not only are you one of the most respected choristers in the territory, Gosh, that's incredibly kind, but you are also author of Leaving Gregory, mm. the autobiographical best-selling piece detailing how you left your horrible husband to pursue your dreams. Mm. I've read it and I've got to say it's inspiring stuff. So okay. Gosh, thank you again. Yes, I just want all women to know it's never too late to wash those stubborn stains away and begin a fresh new life. And speaking of stubborn stains, do you ever see Gregory? Oh, yes. Greg, come here. You see, once the book came out, he became pretty much unemployable. He begged for me back. I refused, of course. But I didn't want him lazing about all day, so I keep him as my assistant. To be honest, he's about as useful as a cardboard asshole. <laughs> oh, there you are. Where's the book? I, uh... Oh, for God's sake. Do you think I called you out here for your charm? Go and get the book, Greg. This is why I don't pay you! Do you see what I mean? Cripes, yes. <laughs> so I just um, wanted to give a special mention to the Capital Symphony Orchestra who perform on the backing track that we'll be using tonight and to the Grizzleford Male Voice Choir who provide the gorgeous harmonies you can hear in the chorus. And finally, I just want to thank Jonathan Williamson 
for writing such an inspiring melody and for flying me out to his villa for the weekend so we could really explore the piece together from his hot tub. He even let Greg set up a tent in the ground, didn't he, Greg? Oh, it's too that. late. Moment's gone. Well, <laughs> we have been practising all day, <laughs> so I think we might join in on the chorus, if that's OK. I'd be delighted. <laughs> Not too near the mic, though, please. <laughs> Crikey! So, without further ado, here is Helen Judge with the world premiere of the Territory's new national anthem. And starting next week, when I become the regular new host of The Nightly Show, we'll be singing it at the end of every broadcast. Sorry, what's that? Helen Judge, everybody! We stand free of inequality tonight on The Nightly Show. But before we go, one final thought. May I? The Queen
question I get asked the most often is, what gets me out of bed in the mornings? What keeps me motivated to do the best job I can? And the answer is always the same. It's you, the people, my people. On election night six years ago, my dearest friend, the late Peter Clement, told you all it ends today. And he was right. It was an end to struggle, an end to helplessness, an end to a life abandoned by the institution set up to help you. In the uneven past, you were alone on a mountainside, but now the team has its arms wrapped around you. Like a mother, the team will hold you to its chest against the storms of life. Like a father, the team will keep a fire burning through the bitter nights. The team loves you knows what's best for you and unlike a parent the team will never abandon you and you will be safe in our warm embrace until the end of time my name is Julia Salisbury and you're safe with me good night and we're out. Great show, everyone. See you on Monday. Helen, we must talk. Oh, of course. Have a little do at the mansion, just a couple of hundred movers and shakers. You must come and of perform. Course. <laughs>